Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Birds Glitter Nest .blogspot.com. and today I'm going to show you how I made these cute little angels out of corks. I've had these corks for a very long time, so I was able to use some, which I was very glad about. <laughs> so these little angels, um, you can hang them on your tree. They do tilt forward slightly, which is no big deal because when they're up against the tree itself, it won't do that, and it's um, it's not extreme. So <laughs> the camera is tilted as well. You can also put these right here um, in the back of your little place settings like that. Those would be cute. It's totally up to you, but I'll show you exactly what I did and how I put this together. And before I move on, be sure to visit my friend Crafty's YouTube channel. She spells her name C-R-A-F-T-I-E, and I'll make sure to put that link in the show more description box below, as well as on my blog. So with that said, let's move on. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some corks. And you can find them at your local vineyard, you can find them on Amazon, eBay, some craft stores may carry these. So um, get yourself some corks and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is some stretch lace. This is just stretch lace I bought off eBay. Um, you can use any kind of lace that you'd like. Um, so I chose this one. It's kind of a lavender with bits of pink in it. And then you're going to need some Deco Art Triple Thick. And I bought this from Amazon. But it, they also carry it on eBay. And I'm going to put some in a little Dixie cup right here. Just a little bit. And then close that. Okay, I'm going to just stick this in here and stir it around with a stick. You can also put this on your cork if you would like, directly on your cork, but I'm just doing this till it's pretty well saturated. Okay. I'll pull this out. And I'll lay this right on my cork. So, just gonna brush it down or press it down. <laughs> now, if you want, you don't want to use this lace, you can always paint your corks with um, a white multi surface acrylic paint or chalk paint and then allow that to dry and then add triple thick and your glitter which is what I'm going to do now. This is the glitter that we used on one of the angel wings and I showed you how to mix that up so I'm just turning this now as I go And I don't care if I get any on the wax paper because I'll just pick up what I don't use. And I'm very gently going around and tapping this down. Very gently. Make sure that this is closed at the seam. Okay. So now I'm just going to allow this to dry for 24 hours. 
before we come back to it and then I'll show you what we'll do from there. Okay, so I took a piece of this 22 gauge wire and I strung 14 by cones on here. These are four millimeter and um, I alternated pink and purple just like that. So now what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to bend this in a circle shape. Kind of like this. And then I'm going to twist this just about two or three times like that. And I'm going to cut off one of those wires. If you hear any background noise, please excuse it. It's my grandson. He's having a friend over and they're a little excited. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to bend this down just like that. See? And don't worry, we'll cut this piece too. Alright, so I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so this is an 18 millimeter acrylic pearl. Now, it wouldn't even hurt if you had this in a 20 millimeter, but I'm using 18. And I'm going to slide this right through just like that. And if you look from the side, you can see how it's kind of sticking out like that. Well, that's why you want to hold it and then bend it back a little bit, like so. Okay. And then that way you can look from the side and it's over the head. And you can tilt it upwards just just slightly. Okay. So for this part I'm gonna cut off a little bit here. And then take my round nose pliers and I'm just going to give it a couple of loops just like this and I'm going to take that and kind of press down and bend it at the bottom and try to make it lay flat There we go. See? Just so it won't come out. And then you can kind of readjust the halo. And by the time we stick this on here, like so, it will be fine. Okay, so that's the side. All right. Now I'm going to look for the seam on this which is right here because we want to place the back of the head um, right here near the seam okay so let's put some hot glue I'm using the Gorilla Glue sticks feel that it's holding it really solid. Okay. <clears throat> Turn this, move this up a little bit. There we go. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is take a piece of cord and I'm just gonna tie a loop in it. here and then make a knot right about here pull it tightly and, and cut it Just 
like this. Don't worry if it's kind of hanging out here because once we pull this like so and then put hot glue around it, it'll be fine. And I'll show you what we're going to do next here. Okay. We have some three millimeter pearl trim. And like I said, we're going to make sure this is right up there against that. And we're going to start here at the back. Put a little bit of that trim here, a little hot glue. Going to do it a little at a time, okay? Go all the way around. All the way around to about here. And I'm going to cut this. Make sure that there's glue underneath here. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to let this dry. And we'll put wings on this, of course, and it should be upright a little more. Okay. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, um, we'll do the bottom, too, before we actually put the wings on. And what I'm using for that is this little trim here. You can purchase any type of trim you want. It doesn't have to be pearls. They have a lot of pretty trim at the ends, but I bought this from eBay. I just typed in the words um, pearl lace trim, and there was a whole bunch of different ones there. Now, when I start to glue this on in the back of the seam, um, I'm going to leave about this much loose that I can just cut off, so I'll actually start gluing about here okay and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and then go towards the back put that here make sure it's even here with the bottom you see how this is hanging out that's exactly what we want <clears throat> I'm going to move this on around. I'm only doing a little bit at a time. Just a little bit. And then I'll keep going on around. Just like that. And I'm going to glue it right here on the inside. And right about here, I'm going to hold it though. Just for a moment or so. Okay. Now if you want to, you can wrap a piece of tape here before you cut it so um, a bunch of pearls won't go flying, but that's totally up to you. I'm going to cut this piece off right here. Now let's see, you can always fix it. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. I cut these two pieces off, but you can see that it's, there's a kind of a pearl missing there, 
and then this is a little loose there. Well, you don't have to worry about that because we have this little pearl there. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue under that pearl. Press it down. And then a little bit of hot glue there. And I put this one like that. Okay, so everything's on there pretty well. I'm going to, whoops. <laughs> well, I thought it was. Hold on. I touched this way too soon. Okay. There we go. That's a little better. And then when this is completely dried, if you see any little pieces, just come in and, you know, snip, snip, snip. Okay, so that's that's not too bad for the back. And here's the front, like that. So let me put this trim up. This trim was really cheap that I purchased. I think it was like $3 for a full yard of it. Okay, so you can use, like I said, trim that's not quite so fussy, but I just think it looks so pretty, and to me it's worth that extra effort. Now here's the wings that we're using, and you can do this and make the wings kind of pointy upwards, but I like to find the pointiest side and put those downwards like this. To me, I just think that looks a little more like wings. I don't know why. And before you begin, you might want to cut any little fuzzies off around the edges here. It's totally up to you. Okay, so I'm going to take, like I said, the pointiest side, and I'm going to put this back here, see if I like it. Yeah, I kind of like it like that. So I'm going to glue these two pieces together right here at the tip. And like that. And I'm just going to let this dry for a moment. Okay. I don't know why I do that. I always touch the hot glue way too soon. <laughs> okay. All right. starting to harden a little bit. Okay. So then like I said, we'll put it, I'm going to put it up a little bit high, just a little bit high, to where um, the head is in between this little V right here. And I noticed I don't know how that happened, but I noticed right here I missed that little part, so I'm going to fix that when I finish gluing this one. So I'm going to put some hot glue here, lift this up, and put this on the back, just like I showed you. Like so. There we go. And then let me lift the camera up a little bit. I have all, I'm right in the middle of moving, so I have all these boxes surrounding me. 
Okay, there we go. I don't know if you can see it or not. So I think it turned out really cute. You hang this up against the Christmas tree, it'll look just like this. So I'm going to go back and touch this up the tiniest bit, and um, then we'll take pictures of it. Okay, so we fixed this, and thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And God bless each and every one of you. And if you do something different on your little cork angels, be sure and let me know in the comment below. I'd love to hear about it. So take care, and God bless you. Bye-bye.